M. Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today is a familiar face. He was here just last year. Uh, the single was Just Another Day in the Country. Uh, did great things for our, our guest who's now come back, but not in an airplane. We'll get to that. <laughs> C.J. Solar is our guest. C.J., welcome What's back. Up, Fletch? Thanks for having me. All right, so um, obviously you are um, you, you have a, a great deal of equity now as a songwriter. Um, you you gave uh, a, a hit to Morgan Wallen and Florida Georgia Line with uh, Up Down, which is on radio right now. That's yours. Yeah. Um, you also uh, had uh, one of Jared Neiman's uh, last hits, uh, Blue Bandana, you know, which I told my morning guy that this morning. He's like, I love that song. I'm like, well, the guy who wrote it's coming in today. <laughs> uh, and, of course, now um, your single, Airplane. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I'm super excited to be kind of still do, getting able to, you know, write songs for other people and do them myself. So it's kind of... Getting a little bit of the best of both worlds, and it's uh, it's it's fun. Okay, so you're now you're you're currently out on your radio tour. Obviously, you're visiting you're visiting mm -hmm. with us. Um, the success of the single airplane. Were you ready for that? I mean, did you did you see that coming? I mean, I was hoping that uh, it would do pretty. good. <laughs> I was hoping so. You never know. Uh, you never know if people are gonna latch on to something. But it seems like a lot of people are really digging airplane. You know, just another day in the country was kind of a a good uh, start into like my first you know single that I ever went for and. So I think airplanes a really cool follow up, and uh, I'm I'm pumped with how it's going. And we got a an e the uh, the record that that's on is uh, coming out April 13th. So mm -hmm. super excited for the whole record to come out, and uh, yeah, just gonna keep on rocking. All right. So is it is it an EP? Is it's it an EP. A, or it's, okay, yeah, not it's a full length. Yeah, album? not a full length. All right. All right. But uh, you do you have plans for like a, a larger product? I'm project, hoping or? so at some point. You know the way. With well, the reason I ask is because, and most artists are coming out with EPs now, the shorter play EPs, you know, five, six tracks, uh, and it seems to be kind of a popular movement. Yeah, well, it, when you put out a whole album, you know, you kind of, you, you know, you get two, maybe three singles off of it, at, but, you know, when, it, when the whole thing comes out, then there's nothing... There's nothing new and exciting. Yeah. <laughs> you, but you can put out like one album every two years, or you can put out like two EPs a year, and you, it, it just feels like yeah. you can get more content out, and um, it's not like you're not throwing so much into just one project. I don't know. So there's a lot of people, even a lot of major label artists, a lot of new artists mm -hmm. are still doing EPs. Uh, you know, and are you know? So I mean, it's EPs kinda... are nothing new. I mean, I mean, I'm a child of the like the 1980s, and I mean, there were EPs that it would come out, and yeah. it was almost like he's like, hey, it's, here's a sample of this artist, and kind of make you hungry, a little appetizer, make yeah. you hungry for a larger project. But it seems like the EP now, and I wonder if that hasn't doesn't have something to do with the way audiences are consuming music. I now. I think so. Yeah, just with like you know, it was streaming and everything, mm -hmm. and you know, people wanting that you know. To listen right immediately and then move on to something new. So it's cool to be able to just throw out a couple songs, have people hear them, and then a couple months later put out something else and kind of just, you know, it's kind of more of a, it seems like more of a just a constant content, you know, uh, market right now where mm -hmm. people are just, you know, wanting stuff constantly. So um, trying to, yeah, not, I, I, I want to do a full album at some mm -hmm. point and I, pro I probably will, but for now, EP. Every time I do an EP, I'm like, well, are we going to turn it into a full record? <laughs> and then it's like, let's just put that out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, well, you've got nothing but time. Like I said, I mean, you've got so much equity right now as a songwriter. Uh, it seems like people are snapping up your music and, and doing good things with it. Yeah, Morgan sure. Wallen and Florida Georgia Line, I, have, I know people who just say, hey, that, that Up Down song, they love that. <laughs> and I know it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an yeah. on-air jock favorite, you know? So do you have anything else that maybe other artists are looking at? Or is there anything you can talk about and go, hey, maybe you might hear this artist have this well, song? Well, that, that's, that's the main thing right now. I mean, uh, I've been really lucky to uh, become buddies with Jared Neiman, and mm -hmm. he's done a few of mine. I had one on his record that came out, and... I had a song on Justin Moore's record, his last record that came out, and um, some Texas guys that I'm friends with that are that are doing cool stuff. But nothing that's like nothing co nothing cooler than, than Up Down <laughs> in the foreseeable future. But I don't know, Up Down's a pretty cool song. Uh, please <laughs> yeah. tell me you've heard that song. Yeah. Up Down's a pretty cool song. Yeah, I, was, so. I was wondering. I'm thinking to myself. I was like, why Why did you keep that for yourself? Is that gonna be? Well, you know, it's funny. So I wrote it with uh, my buddy Michael. And Hardy, who uh, was playing my band, and uh, he's been doing his own thing for a little bit this the past year. But um, we wrote that song like three years ago. <laughs> and we were like, um, we were kind of just like, he was wanting to do a project, and I was working on my music. 
and he was whenever we finally we, we, it took us a while to like finish the song um, but I was like man he was like man I think I need a single for me and I was like well you have that one and I'll do the uh, I, we have another one that's going to be on my project probably my next single that I was like I'll keep this one you keep that one <laughs> it was kind of our thoughts and then and then he uh, he was playing it at a show and Morgan and Floor Georgia Lines manager guy Seth heard it and was like I don't want that from Morgan yeah. and Michael was like take it <laughs> so I was like alright we'll play right. and, and he I mean you know, it's a hit and I he's, mean, it's... he he Killed the song. I mean, it sounds unbelievable. Joey Moy's production is freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. He's like probably my favorite producer mm -hmm. in like ever. So his records sound amazing. This Full George Line records sound amazing. So I'm super stoked to have that that single. And I, I, me and Michael, which is funny because we've been buddies for like four years, five years, and we always said, man, if we could have a song produced by Joey Moy, you know, that would be the coolest thing ever. So it was really cool. And uh, and and Morgan's an unbelievable singer and guy. So. Super lucky, and having Flo Georgia Line on it is doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean it's, so it's, it's a cool. bona fide hit, and it's yeah. a great song. So, well, I'll talk about okay, let's talk about Airplane. Um, that is your current single, yeah. uh, and it is doing great. All right, it's, it's rising, it's climbing the chart every week. It, it's showing yeah. um, um, greater growth. Um, for someone who hasn't heard the song yet, how would you introduce the song? What is this song? I mean, Airplane's kind of like you know. Uh, I guess it would be a love song, but it's like it feels like a love song. It's it's like a badass love song. <laughs> you know? I like that. In fact, you know? I think the next time I play it, that's how I'll introduce it. Here's C.J. Soler's badass love song, "Airplane." Well, the, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's it, you know, I, I always try to have like a little bit of an edge to my stuff, mm -hmm. and like you know, just keep things exciting with the music. And 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 some love songs are just like I'm like, man, all the ones I was writing was like, man, there's just too too mushy you know I was like <laughs> and then I wrote Airplane uh, with, with Rick Huckabee and Weston Davis mm -hmm. and the second we wrote it I was like guys this is for badass <laughs> I gotta do this song because mm -hmm. uh, it's just it's hard to it's hard to have something that's like like seems like from a real place but also not totally super mushy yeah. <laughs> so I was like so uh, you know, which is funny because that song kind of came from uh like uh, I was showing the to the my uh, Huck and and Weston Davis, a video of us like me and my band. We were we were on the road and we stopped at uh, Michael's camp house and and we were uh, we were like shooting like hairspray cans and making them blow up, <laughs> a big fireball. And he went, and Huck went, man, you could have seen that from an airplane. And I went, ding 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. So that's where that idea came from. I know it's not super. I don't know whatever right now, but uh, but yes, it, it came from a homemade explosion. So well, now here's the thing about the uh, we know Rick Huckabee. He's been here <clears throat> a couple of times. Last time I saw Rick uh, here in our studio was when he had released "Ain't Enough Blacktop." So I'm thinking uh, now yeah. with the, these travel themed songs, <laughs> he's got like this whole plane, strange <laughs> automobile thing happening. You know, pretty soon he'll have a song about you can see it from space. Uh, and it'll and I love you, Huck. You're awesome. I, I'm a fan. But I said the, the travel theme. Oh, I like it. Go with it. Go with it. I'm gonna have to go dive through back through Huck's old Huck's records <laughs> and see if we can find a couple more like yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. It'd be amazing. Yeah. Well, and and you know Huck had uh, Muddy Water that mm -hmm. he wrote for Trace Atkins and that Beer with Jesus song on, yeah. on Thomas Rhett. So Tom he's yeah. a he's a he's a freaking awesome mm -hmm. writer and 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 singer, unbelievable. So lucky to be friends with him. And uh, but yeah, so airplanes just kind of. Badass love song, <laughs> and uh, and CJ Solar's got a badass start to uh, his career. And uh, were you, are you touring anywhere this summer? Yeah, we're kind of all over the place, and we actually just found out we're going to be playing some dates with Skinner. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, just got the offer like yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was, so I was just like, oh my god, <laughs> gonna be playing with Skinner. And was, so my agent sent. He was like, hey man, what do you think about this? And I was like, making dreams come true. <laughs> Oh my god! So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so super Living excited. Yeah, so I think the first ones that we're gonna get are uh, in June. I think they're in North Carolina, but we're 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 out every weekend, um, starting April because I'm doing a lot of radio tour stuff now. But April first weekend through like through May, we're out every weekend, and June's filling up, and July's filling up. So yeah, it's, and past that random stuff. So yeah. all right.
Our guest is CJ Solar, and uh, the single is Airplane. You want to hear it, make sure you call us at Kicks96. We're playing it. We'll happy to play it for you. Uh, look for uh, other CJ Solar songs like um, the Up Down, Morgan Wallen, and Florida Georgia Line. Look for him out on tour with Leonard Skinner. Where can folks find you on the internet if they're looking? CJSolar.com, and I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, saying funny things, posting funny things, and hope you come find me. Check him out and hit him up. I am M. Fletcher Brown. This is CJ Solar. Look for a live performance here from CJ elsewhere on our site. And we'll see you next time on another artist video blog at kicks96country.com.